Hey everybody and welcome to this video series about how we can create an SQL script to implement a database in MySQL. We created the first three tables of our relational uh, data model here, the employee and the postal code and the location. And I just realized that I made a little typo up here because this is a reserved word, location, and this is the name, this is the actual name of the table. And uh, in order to, uh, to still use this name, we can use the backtick to tell database that this is the name of the table. This is only in the case where the name is not, uh, could be reserved. So the postal code is not reserved in the database and the employee is not. But somehow the location is. So we put these, uh, these backticks on. Okay, we have these three tables and uh, let's continue with the rest of the tables here. We will take the department next. I think I'm going to copy one of those to use as a template. Department. And we have a department ID. And then we have a name of the department. We have also, if we take a look at the uh, relational uh, model here, we can see we have the department ID, we have the name, then we have two foreign keys. We have the location, because it was multi-valued. So this is the location ID. We also have the employee ID, because an employee is able to be a manager for a department. And then we have the start date. So these are foreign keys, the location here. So if we type in here, employee ID, and when we use int, we don't have any length specification on that. This will be a foreign key, so therefore it cannot be null. Then we have the location ID, that is also an integer, cannot be null as well. And I'm not going to attach any of the foreign keys yet. We will just create the tables first here. And then we have the, the project. If we take a look at the project, we can see we have a project ID. We have a name, we have a department ID. And the department ID is a foreign key referencing the department. So we type in here. project ID. We also have a name, we have department ID, and that is basically it. And finally, what do we have? We have our many-to-many -many relations between employee and, and project. This is called works on as employee ID and project ID and ours, and they form a, a combined primary key. Oops. And then we needed to put on the hours, how many hours an employee has been working on a project. I think we should make that a float. And we just need to put on one thing here. We need to put on a constraint here because we need to make a combined primary key. with employee and project ID. This will uh, define a new constraint, a new primary key constraint called PK works on, and it will make a primary key 
with employee ID and project ID, these two up here. All right, so now we have created all of the tables that we need in our database. We still need to define the foreign case though, but we're going to do that in the next video. Uh, oh, I think we have a little typo there. We need a comma there and one off there. We can try to, uh, to implement the database in phpMyAdmin to see if it actually works. And let's see if it works. Oh, we have an error. Department. Oh, I forgot to rename the project. That's a bit of a problem there. Let's take the file again and see if this will work. All right, so now we have our database, department, employee, location, postal code. And we can see here, if we go to the designer, that we don't have any connections between them. So we just need to uh, define the foreign keys. We can see on the, on the designer here that uh, it has recognized the, the primary keys and also our many-to-many -many relation here, the two primary keys. All right.